my friends, I'm Julia and I'm so happy you're here with me. So today we start off with some napkins my mother gave me and I cut out a bunch of the black and grey flowers to start off my art journaling page. I'm going to use multi matte medium to stick those flowers down and seal them so they stay like this throughout the process. I put a piece of washi tape to protect the other page I did a few months ago and start sticking the flowers down like a frame for what's coming. When all the flowers are in place I use a blade to cut along the middle seam and I pull off the tape with the excess flowers and I use scissors to trim off the excess on the other side. This page has some imperfections from other projects so I bring out gesso and give the whole page except for the flowers a couple of coats of gesso. Gesso does two things, it seals my paper but it also gives that tooth to the paper for paint to grab onto. When I saw this stamp set from Danielle Mack I just had to have it. Danielle Mack has designed more stamp sets for Stampers Anonymous and I encourage you to take a look at them. For this project I'm going to use the face in the upper left corner and I put the stamp on my dilutions ruler and mask off the lower part of the face with post-it tape. I use my anti-static bag over the page because I intend to heat emboss the face. I ink up with both Versamark embossing ink and Versafine Onyx Black ink. Both inks dry slow and will give me time to cover my face with WOW's super fine clear embossing powder. The smudge on the cheek will be fixed later. Right now I'm focused on melting the powder so my face doesn't get lost in my colors later. After embossing the face I use a few coats of white gesso over that smudge. Now let's change this face into a person and I bring out my book with beautiful writing and tear out a few pages. Beforehand I sketched out how I wanted the hair and now I'm tracing those sketches on my book pages and cut them out. Before I stick the hair down I want to color the face. I use Dina Wakely's paints in turquoise, magenta and blackberry. I dilute them with water and cover my face in those luscious colors and help them blend with my brush and more water. If you look closely you can see the embossed lines resisting the colors. When the paint is almost dry I use a Q-tip to rub off the excess paint around the eyes and the other black lines. If I let them dry they are permanent. Now let's stick down the hair and beard and seal them with Ranger's multi matte medium. I know I have done hair like this before but in my mind this is how I saw it all and I love how it all comes together. When the multi matte medium is dry I bring out Dina Wakely's food wall pen that writes well on acrylic paint and start filling in some of the features like making the eyebrows thicker and defining the eyes more. Then I use silver paint called sterling to fill in the clamps that hold the braids and beard together. 
It's now time to color the hair and I dilute the turquoise with water and paint in the ends of the hair and pull the color up along the hair before I bring in blackberry paint and put that at the ends, blending the two together without harsh lines. And I do the same with the hair on the head and I use turquoise to define the hair higher up. Next, I fill in the eyeballs with a permanent marker and then I use the same thin marker to fill in the strands of hair on the top of the head. Now, let's give this person some braids. I use a few ball pen to fill in the lines on each braid. Next, I want to give this person some jewelry and I bring out a flower stamp set and use the stem to make a silver headband. I mask off the sides so the band will end up only on the forehead. Then I use my anti-static bag before I stamp the headband in Versamark embossing ink and cover it with silver embossing powder from WOW and heat set until shiny. When the silver band is in place, I bring out a Versamark marker with embossing ink in it and draw in the jewelry that I want hanging from the band. A star and two hearts. I wasn't very happy with them because the ink is clear and I could not see how, I, how it would turn out. But I will fix that later. Next, I fill in the eyes with a white gel pen and when I do, I feel this person coming to life. The first step to fixing the headband is to take a thin black marker and trace around the silver jewellery. And then, I fill in the eyes with black and a blue gel pen. Now I'm going to bling this person up with rhinestones, but first I fix the headband by cutting out a star and two hearts, coloring them and gluing them over the heat embossed stars and hearts. Then I start gluing down these cheap plastic stones over the star on every silver clamp in the braids and beard and along the whole headband. I can't help but love the bling and the person who is coming to life. Next I bring in the white gesso again and a dotting tool and I give each eye a white reflection. Then, I want to define the flowers more and use a Stabilo All pencil that is water reactive. I scribble the black pen around both flowers and person and use a wet brush to pull that black out, defining my work. When all my flowers have a shadow, I scribble the pencil around the top of my page and add water on the brush to have a frame at the top too. The last touch on the jewelry is glossy accents that I use often, I know. I fill in the star and hearts to give them a domed look. My final touches on this project is to use dotting tools in different sizes. I make black dots first, both big and small, in clusters, randomly on my page.
Then I bring out turquoise and make big and small dots among the black dots. Finally, I bring out, bring out blackberry and do the same. I make big and small dots filling in the clusters of black and turquoise dots until I'm happy. And then this bearded, flowery, dotty art journal page is finished. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you will visit me soon again. Until the next time, see you soon.